Sophie, uh, honey, I'm sorry you went to all this trouble, but I'm, I'm really not very hungry. But, Daddy, this is my way of saying good morning, family. Wake up to the bounty I've provided that is yours to enjoy. Can't you talk normal? I mean, here, food, eat. <laughs> so when Patrick's out of town, you've really run out of things to do. Oh, Emily, don't be ridiculous. Now make sure you try my pomegranate preserves. I was up till three deceiving. <laughs> Man, you need sex. Forty five for five. All right, Weston. Well, at least here's someone, piggish though he may be, who appreciates my food. And what may I offer you from our bounteous table of culinary delights? Nothing. <laughs> Come now, Charlie. Don't be the coy moocher. No, really. Nothing. Take some bounty, damn it. I can't. I'm too excited to eat. My mom called me. And? That's it. She never called me before. I take it you don't get along? Well, it's gotten a lot better since she started admitting that I didn't die at birth. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to bond. I'll say. The mom and dad will be hopping in the old RV. They'll be here tomorrow for Mother's Day. Oh, well, that's great, Charlie. Have you picked out a gift yet? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one. Come on, now it's, it's just, it's a stethoscope, dear. It won't hurt. I tell you what, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. While I'm listening to your heart, you can listen to mine. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have a little fun here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. See, yours sounds like thump thump, thump thump. They're great. Yours goes thump thump clock, thump thump clock. It does? Yeah. So my yeah, yeah, you're fine. Thump, thump, your glug, huh? Bye, Dr. Weston. No, oh, it's some of your sounds okay to me. Laverne, please, would you take a listen to uh, my I'll be line? right with you, doctor. Hey, hello. Hi, Don and Claims. Yeah, this is Laverne Todd. How could you recognize my voice? <laughs> well, if you people send me my damn money, I wouldn't have to call you three times a day. <laughs> the check's in the mail. Donna, Donna, Donna. I have been waiting on you people for nine weeks. You're going to have to do better than the checks in the mail. Tell me your dog ate the computer tapes. Tell me you blew the cash on lottery tickets, but do not insult my intelligence by telling me the checks in the mail when you and I both know it ain't. Oh, thank you. Donna and Claims. Darnest thing. <laughs> guess what just showed up in the mail? <laughs> Good guess. I don't hear any glug. I do not believe this. They got the wrong amount. Uh, not enough, huh? No, $26.11 too much. A uh, in claims, please. I can't accept this, doctor. I mean, I may not have to answer those insurance scoundrels, but my creators are watching every move I make. Although I like to think he closes his eyes when I'm in the shower. <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> Hurry up, Emily. I'm going to be late. Carol, your plane doesn't leave for five hours. Yes, but it may take some time to get through the metal detector. <laughs> I'm wearing an underwire bra. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. In a few years, you'll need a chain-link fence. <laughs> Emily, please, 
I am very nervous about meeting Patrick's mother. If we get along, I'll be one step closer to marriage. One step closer to being Carol Rodham Arcola. <laughs> Rodham? Oh, I just admire Hillary so much. Honey, you're still here. Don't you have a plane to catch in five hours? Yeah, we'd better get a move on if we're going to be four hours early. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, dear. Mwah. You have a good trip. Thanks. All right. Hi, Charlie, come on. Oh, Mrs. Dietz, how nice to see you. Please, call me Ursula. Ursula, come on, so how are you guys doing? We're doing great, Harry. I'm showing her the best Mother's Day ever. Right, Mom? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? I must be the luckiest son in the world. I'm just disappointed that Dad couldn't make the trip. Oh, well, he wanted to come, but he'd rented Ernest Goes to Camp, and it's due back tomorrow. <laughs> Well, it's always something important. Oh, Charles, I just wish you'd understand about your father. Sometimes things just don't work out. But I bet my estrogen shot you do. <laughs> uh, pardon me? Oh, nothing. nothing. Okay. So I guess you do have big plans for today. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why we're here, Harry. I got this great Mother's Day picnic plan, and I was wondering if I could borrow a few things. Sure, sure. What do you need? Bread, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, chips. <laughs> A couple of peaches, beer, potato salad, pie, and a roast turkey. Sure, just help yourself, Charles. Please, come over here. Oh, he's a good kid. Oh. Uh, Charlie. Oh! Him. So, how are things at Leisure World? Well, golf and the divorce proceedings kept me pretty busy. You got divorced? Oh, heavens, yes. It, it's been coming for the past, uh... 30 years or so. <laughs> I'm unsurprised. I mean, Charlie didn't say anything. Oh, Charles doesn't know. I, I thought telling him would be easy, but since I've gotten here, he's been so happy, so upbeat. Is he on medication? <laughs> no, I think he's just thrilled to have his mom with him on Mother's Day. Huh? <laughs> well, Ursula, I think you're going to have to tell him about the divorce. Oh, I know, I know. Look, I really shouldn't impose, but it might be easier to break the news to him if you were around. Is this really? <laughs> Look, I know how close you two are. Well, uh, uh, okay, why don't you bring him over for dinner tonight? Oh, Harry, that's wonderfully generous of you. Thank you. Bring him and meet you in the car. You know, when I was pregnant with Charles, I used to say, I don't care what it is, as long as it's healthy. It never occurred to me to ask for more. <laughs> Hindsight. <laughs> Good evening, Harry. Hey, Ursula, come on in. Well, don't you look nice. Yeah, thank you. You're not half bad yourself. Not many men can wear a cardigan with such authority. <laughs> well, all my pullovers were dirty. <laughs> Here's a little something to thank you for having us. Oh, well, thank you so much. Is it Charlie on his way over? No, he's still out running an errand for me. Uh, are the girls here? I didn't see their cars in the driveway. No, 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 no. They, they both had plans, so I guess it's just the two of us for a little while. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. We don't have to waste the bubbly on the kids. <laughs> I know. I could use a glass. Sure, really. Okay, and then maybe we can go over what it is you want to say to Charlie tonight. Who? Oh, right. <laughs> Him. Yes. You know, Harry, it's so thoughtful of you to help. You know, in all my years of marriage, my husband was never this compassionate. Or this fit. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, when when you do talk to Charlie, I I would I just be careful not to be overly critical of Mr. Dietz. God, you're really good at this, aren't you? But then uh, I'll bet you're good at a lot of things. Oh, uh, I just find that uh, people respond best to honesty, so you know, don't be afraid to be direct. Okay. So how do you keep in such fantastic shape? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of, you know, I just watch what I eat, and I, you know, I do a little, little, little swimming. Oh, right, I saw you in the pool this morning, doing lap after lap, the water cascading over your freckled shoulders, the steady rhythm of your stroke, so...
I'd better go find that cork before somebody trips over it. Well, it's okay. well, it's all right. I forgot. No, I mean, I remembered. The sauce needs stirring. It's, yeah. it's on the stove in the kitchen. It's in, it's, a, it's, in, a, it's in a pot. Yeah. All right, well, you can stay. Oh, I'm very impressed. The doctor cooks. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not much of a cook at all. I just make scrambled eggs, and that's, that's about it. Oh, good. You can make them for me tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, did Harry burn his little fingers? Ooh, let Ursula kiss him and make him all better. No, 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 no. Really, really, no, really. The best thing for a burn is like really, really cold water. Maybe, maybe like to try some. Oh, Harry, don't fight it. I know, I know, you know, I think with the divorce and everything that you're feeling a little vulnerable right now. See, I know I am. Here you old dog. <laughs> Harry, you old dog. Charles, please calm down. You don't know the whole story. I'm not sure I have the stomach for it. Charlie, it was perfectly innocent. Right. Tell that to my dad. Oh, my God, Dad. What's he going to say about this? Poor trusting bastard. All right, Ursula, I, I think it's time you told. Told me what? Well, I don't know, Harry. He seems so upset. Well, you're darn right I'm upset. Now, I demand to know what's going on around here. Maybe after dinner. Ooh, dinner. What are we having? <laughs> just, just forget dinner. Boy, you just keep going for the jugular, don't you, Harry? <laughs> That's a tiger instinct. <laughs> Look, uh, wait, 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 wait. Now, now Charlie, I, I, I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but your parents are divorced. My parents? Divorced? Oh, my God. I, I'm from a broken home. Charlie, Charlie, can I, are you okay? Can I get you something? Uh, maybe just a glass of water and a sandwich. <laughs> These things happen all the time. You're blowing out of proportion. Me? What about you? Dr. Strangelove here shows you his fancy house, sucks a little face, oh. and suddenly you're willing to throw Dad out into the cold. Charles, the truth is that your father and I don't love each other anymore. So? Whatever happened to staying together for the sake of the children? <laughs> you're not exactly a child. Close, but not exactly. It's too late for flattery, Mom. You've broken my heart. And you helped. Charlie, please listen. I didn't do anything. Man, I haven't been this bummed out since Cheech and Chong broke up. <laughs> Laverne. Jump, jump, Bill. Bill, Bill, jump, Bill, jump. <laughs> Elvis stamp. <laughs> and looky here. Another check from the insurance company and for the exact amount. Good. That's great. I'm glad you finally got it straightened out. Oh, it wasn't easy either. Boy, they gave me the runaround. I must have talked to every department in that company. I called back. I started taking names. Nothing stops you. I finally got through to the president of the company. Really? He actually took your call? You'd be surprised how far an Arkansas accent and the phrase friend of Bill goes these days. You went through all that trouble for $26? Doctor, this $26 might be important to somebody who's not getting it. But I'm done with this insurance company. Laverne and Todd's are taking her business elsewhere. It's a good idea, Laverne. Now, what's the name of your guy? <laughs> My guy? Yeah, you're a good friend that has an insurance company. I don't remember. I forgot his name. He was the best man at your wedding. Well, I mean, there, there were so many people. Excuse I couldn't me. Rem I'm looking for Dr. Wilson's office. Close enough. Here we go. Right in here. Thank you. Go. How could you not tell me about the divorce? I, I forgot. I, I went shopping. <laughs> But why, Mom? I needed a new halter top. <laughs> oh, 
Charles, the marriage just wasn't worth saving. Why? Just because Dad never took the garbage out or shut the bathroom door or cleared more than 18 grand a year? 16.5. But there was a bigger reason. A special part of our life together was missing. A, a woman has certain needs. Oh, gross. I don't want to be talking about this with my mother. <laughs> it's your father, Charles. You mean he can't? Of course he can. He just won't. <laughs> he says if he's going to spend that much energy on something, he'd at least like a nice lawn to show for it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom, if you wanted to have great sex, why'd you get married? <laughs> Charles, I'm just trying to make you understand how frustrated I've been. The other night when I kissed your friend Harry, well, he made me feel like a natural woman. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Harry Weston happens to be a very attractive man. Someone I could grow quite fond of. You and Harry? Never really thought about it. Think about it, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> That was the worst trip of my life. Patrick's mother is impossible. The woman talked about herself endlessly. She was so self-centered, I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Well, you and the way she monopolized Patrick's attention, you would have thought she was Queen Bee. Well, it was Mother's Day, Carol. <laughs> yes, but I was the guest. <laughs> And she was so controlling. I mean, she manipulated every situation so that it benefited her. I mean, I just couldn't imagine growing up with such a person. Believe me, it wasn't easy. Hi, honey. I thought I recognized that scream. You're back a little early, aren't you? I could not get out of that hellhole soon enough. It was horrible. And, of course, Patrick was always on his mommy's side. And, yes, that's what he still calls her. Can you imagine a grown man calling his mother Mommy Daddy? <laughs> As long as you had a nice time, dear. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you, Daddy? From now on, I am not unburdening myself to anyone in this house. Yes! yes. Uh, honey, I want to take drive for a walk. Do me a favor, open the door a crack and see if Mrs. Dietz is still out there sunbathing. Yep. Is there a... Any way I can sneak by? I don't think so. She's lying on the hood of your car. Damn, all right. Come on, Drive. You're on your own. Go. Oh, come on, Dad. Mrs. Dietz is just trying to get your attention. I think it's cute. Cute? <laughs> you wouldn't think it was so cute if you saw her chasing me around here last night and made me feel so cheap. <laughs> well, Dad, maybe you sent her the wrong signals. I mean, she's a newly divorced woman, and you're an eligible bachelor, and... You were wearing your come-and-get-me cardigan. That damn sweater's got me in more jams. All right, listen, I just have to go talk to her, that's all. Yeah. Harry, listen, I uh, had a talk with my mom. It was hard for me to accept at first, but I wrestled with it and... Well, Dad, sis, I feel like a family hug. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, what's what's going on? Hey, who am I to stand in the way of two crazy kids taking a chance on love? <laughs> Charlie, we're not in love. Well, you're not kids either. <laughs> but as long as you're happy, we're happy, right, sis? Charlie, I'm not your sister. Well, not yet. Which reminds me, this may be your last chance to have your way with me before society frowns on us. <laughs> Get real. <laughs> Okay. Harry, you want to go do some father-son stuff? You know, play catch, fly, a kite, take it a peep show? Charlie, listen, you and I got to get a few things straightened out. You're not going to take off your belt, are you? No. <laughs> Sit down. Look. First of all, I'm not going to be your dad. I, I, I'm, I'm not marrying your mother. What happened, Harry? You two seem so good together. Charlie, I look, I don't know, I don't know what your mother told you, but there's nothing between us. There's no relationship, no future, no attraction. There's the apt is no no nothing. Maybe if you went to counseling. <laughs> Charlie, uh, your mother is is a very nice woman. I'm just not interested. And this is all so sudden. First I have a dad, then I don't, then I have a stepdad, then I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Can I still call you dad? <laughs> no. Can I give you a hug? Just a, uh, just a little one. So, dear, I, I, I hope you understand. I never meant to lead you on. And if I did something or said something that made you feel otherwise, I apologize. Oh, Harry, I'm the one that should be apologizing. I must have come on as so desperate. I, oh, I'm so embarrassed. No, no, please, don't do that. It was just a misunderstanding. No kidding. I was reading between lines that weren't even there, imagining that someone as dashing as you could be interested in a, a plain Jane like me. God, I am... I feel like a silly old fool. Oh, Ursula, dear, come on, don't do this to yourself. Now, listen, I think you're a lovely lady. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 but I also think that your interest in me came from loneliness. It was uh, just a rebound thing. Oh, of course you're right. I guess this divorce took a bigger toll on me than I realized. Well, come on, you hang in there. You're going to be just fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I get my, my watches caught on your sweaty head. Oh, here, here, let me help you. <laughs> Boy, if this had happened the other night, I, I might have thought you were making a move on me. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is really stuck oh, here. But, but about this rebound thing, sure, it's only temporary, but I understand it can be very exciting. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's not lose any ground here. Oh, <laughs> come on, Harry. We're not getting any younger. What do you say you and I go in that room and rebound our brains out? Oh, boy, that's it. That's it. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, why don't you just... Why don't you just keep the watch <laughs> as a memento of, of, of the great time you had here? I'd rather keep the owner. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. Listen, I, listen, are you... I, um, you, you, have, you have a safe trip home and... Uh, um, give me bye. Timex. Some doctor. Well, the way Harry jumped over that fence, you would have thought a pit bull was after him. What you got there, Mom? Your birthday present? Wow, what Timex you really do love me. Hug? No. A little one? Maybe just a little one. <laughs> Look, Charles, cookies and milk. Oh, thanks, Ma. Get your own. Uh... <laughs> Oh, this great book, Oedipus Rex. Hmm, never heard of it. Oh, Carol lent it to me. It's really getting good. 